Hi guys, this is Dylan from the Command Zone. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Edric, Spy Master of Trest, one of the new commanders that are going to be coming out on June 17th, this Friday. Uh, Edric is one colorless, one blue, one green. He's a 2-2 elf rogue. And his uh, text says, whenever a creature deals combat damage to one of your opponents, its controller may draw a card. Um, obviously a very strong Pretty card. Pretty good. He's really yeah. good. Very, very political uh, card. It encourages your... Um, uh, opponents that kind of go smack themselves around, right. not attacking you because they don't get the bonus if they attack you. Right, right, and it's going to help you a lot in the early game. Um, obviously, you're he's an elf, so you might want to play uh, towards an elf strategy. Um, and a lot of opponents aren't wanting to aren't going to want to attack you immediately mm -hmm. because they don't get the bonus of drawing cards. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's it is very political. You can mm -hmm. you know have your opponents kill each other off, and then you foul swoop in and mm -hmm. kill everybody. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yep. Another one of the pros are, uh, it's in the two strongest colors, uh, yeah. I would argue. Right. Um, green, you have your ramp, and then blue, well, there's just a bunch of different nasty stuff you can run with. Right, blue. it's blue, so yeah, yeah I don't yeah, think exactly. we have to talk about blue very much. but Yeah, yeah, blue is blue, enough said. Um, there's also, uh, it's it's draw. I mean, it's, right. it's you know, it's, I don't, I don't think this is going to be a general that will kind of slow the game down. It's not going to be like a wrath effect, you know. People are drawing cards when they're hitting each other, so that's just going to, you know, get the game going a little faster, I think. Mm -hmm. It's going to help everybody out a little bit. Um, don't get me wrong. I, I, I totally expect shenanigans to come out of this. Oh, game. yeah, no, I know. Totally, he's going to be a new general that's going to be played throughout yeah, the league everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's totally unfair. Yeah, I, no, yeah, completely. Yeah, 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 yeah but, totally. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's av absolutely asinine to, you know. Right, but I mean, at, at the same time, he does allow you to draw. You know, there is absolutely. a positive side to him, mm -hmm. which is a con for anyone building the deck, but... Um, I mean, overall, he is just extremely strong. He's mm -hmm. extremely powerful, especially with a very explosive deck. Yeah, so agreed. Mm -hmm. You're gonna see him a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess one of his cons yeah. to talk about is that he allows other opponents to draw. Right, That's true. Which yeah. is not good. Yeah, which isn't good. Yeah, it'll be probably a little better if you had something like a consecrated Sphinx again, which is. Right. Really good. You get to draw two forever. There, you know. Who so put it in the blue deck, though? Really, that's that's an auto include. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah, yeah, it's pretty much an auto include. Um, well, let's talk about um, strategies that we want to go with this general. Do we want to do an overrun type strategy? Are we going to run an elf based deck? Are we going to run? Um, what kind of synergies are we looking for when building um, Edric? Well, you can think about think of it as uh, more creatures the better. Right. So. Uh, a kind of one hand you could run with a, a kind of a slight token theme potentially. Sure. Now, I think we're in agreement here that token decks, with a few exceptions, uh, are not generally the strongest way to go in building an EDH deck. They're very right. susceptible to wrath, uh, they're there for jump blockers or jump attackers, they don't really do much for you other than provide warm bodies. Right. Um, but in this particular deck, in a deck with Edric, you know, you're going to see him, them be able to draw for you. There's going to be a drawing engine. Mm -hmm. So if you can keep them on board and, and do that, that's great. But we don't want to dedicate too many cards right. to that. We don't want that to be the case. And we can probably supplement that instead by running, like you said, like an elf sub. Thing. Right, yeah. I mean, I've seen a few builds, actually, with this, um, and I'm eager to see a lot more. Um, some that I have seen have been a token-based build, where they just try and pump out as many tokens as they can. and and draw as many cards as they possibly can as quickly as possible and eventually, you know, either win with some MP combo or win with a Genesis Wave or, or something, something like that. Or something mm -hmm. like that. Right, which is, I think, the best way to go. Um, recently, uh, Triumph of the Hordes came out, so mm -hmm. that enables this deck to win on turn four, turn five. Very scary card. Yeah, you play a Landwerf, 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 overrun with Infect, and pretty much you, you win the game yeah. if you're playing a slow opponent. Um, a combo base player or whatever yeah, it's it is. It's easy to ramp up there and get what you want really quickly. Mm -hmm. Right, I and mean, Blue's got a lot of very good um, uh, very good draw, um, as well as Edric, so you can take advantage of that. Green has the creature base mm -hmm. um, advantage, so it's it's going to be a very, very good deck. Look for a lot of combos to come out of it. It's going to be very, very broken. Mm -hmm. Very political deck, like we mentioned before. Right. Um, I can see this uh, deck being made in such a way that it encourages opponents to kill each other before they Definitely. Because they, they want the benefit yeah. of drawing the cards. You right. know? Who wants right. to say, oh, you know, if, if you kind of sit back, maybe play a little bit more of a control theme type right. deck. Um, you can definitely see uh, your opponents whittle themselves down very quickly with this. Definitely. In the race, the arms race, to get the, the most cards, which ultimately right. can be a very right. bad thing for them. Mm -hmm. And Edric is going to definitely take advantage of that, I think, mm -hmm. um, with the amount of creatures. So Edric is good because if your opponent attacks you, the, the player with Edric, they don't get the benefit of drawing. So right. that's, that's good. And yeah. all you really want to do is you're going to eventually start to build up a, a base of creatures on board. Mm -hmm. And you might not even have to attack with them. Um, but you, I think, I, I always say you're going to want to win in one turn. You don't, mm -hmm. I don't like having to continuously try and beat down in mm -hmm. order to win. I'd like everything just to come out, happen in one turn, and 
be done with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you'll see a lot of good cards like um, uh, Azuri, the Renegade Leader, one of the elf, you know, the elf uh, lords, mm -hmm. pretty much, that uh, he overruns, he regens elves, mm -hmm. he's very good. Um, uh, what is his name? Uh, Kamal, mm -hmm. Fist of uh, Krosa. Yeah. Yeah, You're going to see him. Uh, I mean, he's, he's great against Wrath mm -hmm. effects. That's what I use him for. I mean, he can turn a, uh, a land into a 1-1 creature, so... Basically, Spot there for right. land. Really dangerous oh. to play. I mean, he's incredible. Yeah. You, you know, you you have a creature based deck. How are you going to defend against um, a wrath? You know, any control base. So what Croza does is he he basically says, if you want to wrath me, you're going to lose all of your lands. Yeah, it's very possible. And that's just incredibly scary, and it's you know it's going to let Edric win very very quickly because he has a board. But you don't want to get rid of the board because you're going to lose all of your stuff as well. So there are a lot of really key cards to put in the deck that really make it extremely effective. Right, and blue-green, yeah. two of the strongest colors in EDH. So right. as we said many times before, and we've re reviewed so far almost every uh, general, you want that ramp, you have that ramp, so use it. Right. Uh, and with blue, you know, make that draw happen, even mm -hmm. if he's not doing it for you. Mm -hmm. You know, use it, use it to your advantage. And, yeah, and I, think, I think if I build this, it's going to be an elf build with, you know, Priest of Titania, mm -hmm. or Fellows, um, all the Infi Mana stuff, Umber Mantle, and you know, you know everything yeah. else you need. Sure. Uh, to go to go in feet. I like I like kind of a creature with overrun theme myself. Uh, I, I prefer to tend uh, you know big beaters. I like in, in mm -hmm. very interesting utility creatures over right. potentially going for the uh, in fee mana. Uh, I would you have to dedicate dedicate some cards to it and it's good strategy. Uh, but just not for my taste. Yeah. I, I want to really kind of develop Edric for like as much as he can be. Right. Used. I'd like to see how people uh, utilize blue actually in the deck because Eldritch just says. It's a green deck. Eldritch says green. Right. Yeah. So I want to see what people use. Um, it seems like the blue is just like kind of tagged on there. For right, right, bit, right. Uh, you know, something extra. Right, but, you know, yeah. for your time warps and your time stretch. Well, yeah. if you play that way, yeah. yeah. Big enabler. Blue is a huge enabler. So sure. You can yeah. tutor for, uh, for some, you know, uh, you're looking for your uh, Green Sun Zenith. Okay, you've got it. You've got your Titan or something like that. And you've got your Kamal. You've got your Zuri. And, uh, you know, pretty strong. Yeah, pretty strong. Blue is, blue is going to help push the green forward. I think green is the star of the show, but mm -hmm. blue is going to help push it forward. And that's usually not the way it is with blue. Blue likes to uh, control everything, but mm -hmm. yeah. we'll see how it goes. Depends on how you build, yeah. Um, as far as the cons go, uh, there's a, there are obviously a lot of pros, but as far as the cons right. go, uh, go um, one of the cons is that um, it is heavily creature-based. It is, So yeah. it's prone to um, a lot of wrath effects. Again, if you have the blue, you can, you know, if you if you have the biggest guns on board, you can easily counter that if you have the blue. Right. Blue is a great, uh, you know, secondary backup color. But, um, yeah, people are going to be wrathing left and right if that's going on the field. People are going to realize that maybe there is a mono blue player right. at the field or at the table, and then there's somebody right. playing Air, um, Edric, so they want to wrath, right. you know, more and more so the blue player doesn't yeah, draw. That, that's something else to see. How many counters yeah. are people going to run in this deck? Yeah, you know, one to three, five to ten. Who knows? I mean, mm -hmm. I, I don't. I, I wouldn't pay, play too many counters. Um, mm -hmm. My favorite card in in all of Magic is Genesis Wave, as you guys know. Uh -huh. So yeah, yeah. I, no, I like I like to hit my favorite as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it wins games. Yeah, all by yeah no. It should have been green. Green. It should be green. green. Green needed a color or um a, like that is so befitting of green. Right. But um. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it's good. It's good that he's paired with blue because blue does not take um does not utilize Genesis Wave in a, in a good way. I mean, you, you know, yeah, it's going to be your counter spells, your draw spells, right, right, right. they kind of just yeah. fizzle. Every, so, yeah, exactly. Everything's going to hit the bin as soon as right. that, and it's it, it's going to be gone for good, I'm sure. Right. Um, um, he, yeah, Eldrick is, is just an incredibly strong general, so you, you'll see him a lot, mm -hmm, definitely, exactly. in, in play. Yeah. Another con uh, with this guy is uh, people are going to grow suspicious. Right. Of, uh, as soon as they see you sitting down with uh, Edric, they're going to go, oh god, this is the guy who's going to be drawing and letting everyone at the table draw right. cards. And from my perspective, that's not necessarily a good thing. Like, great, I'm drawing cards, but who's to say that I'm going to have the first guy out on the field and I'm going to be attacking? Like, you know, you can very easily go, you know, turn one, Soul Ring Greaves, mm -hmm. uh, turn two, Thought of Adele Greaves, you know, I'll hit you, draw Definitely. a card, look for, you know. And it's happened time and time again, and um, it's really intimidating. No, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and. Um, you know, I'm not so sure it's a, you know, it's a good thing he right. has, you know, a uh, target stamped right on his head. Right, yeah, exactly. And, yeah, and I'd probably, you know, just gun for a guy who but played Edric. the thing about Edric is he's probably going to be fast enough where he just says, you know, yeah. if all you guys, I don't care, yeah. I'm going to play my own game, mm -hmm. and I'll probably come out on top. Yeah, so. no, I mean, if you want Edric to be explosive and you want to win, um, you could definitely see that happen. I mean, I, I, think can, so. I, can, I can think of a couple builds that would just, you know, catapult me into the right. win, mm -hmm. you know, or control turn five, and I have the right. game locked, you know, turn six. And there. Right, I mean, and blue blue is another, um, uh, what I want to say, blue has a lot of good creatures now that are coming out with the new block, with the uh, Scars block, Frixian Metamorph. 
That's that's an all star in every deck, I think. And Metamorph is going to be very very strong in Eldrick. He's going to mm -hmm. allow you to ramp faster. He's going to allow you to have another Primeval Titan or another um, Born Clax. Or he's going to mm -hmm. he's going to just enable all kinds yeah. of shenanigans that and are just terrible. Don't forget Momor Vig slides nicely into this deck. He so does. Oh, very yeah, he does. scary. Oh, that's very true, scary. Yeah. Tutor play. Tutor play. Drop right. Yeah. yeah. Recycle is another synergy card that's going to work very well yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh, with all of these cards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It'll be very very good. Um. I think that's really all for Eldrick. I mean, we yeah, talked about him a little bit. Yeah. There's more discussion that's going to be needed, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The synergy with him is um, pretty um, self-explanatory. Right. Um, probably going to be a great general. I expect him to see him a lot. A lot. In yeah. the upcoming seasons, much, yeah. um, people battling over the slot of trying to run in the right. season. But um, speaking of the season, season six is starting up. It's going to probably start up about two weeks after the commander date. Again, that's June seventeenth. So look for it at the, maybe at the beginning of July or maybe a little bit um, in the middle of July. Um, if you're a store owner or you play EDH um, somewhere close to San Diego or mm -hmm. in another state and you come across these videos and you want to start uh, uh, a league of your own, we can help you with that. And if you live in the uh, Southern California region right. and you want to uh, join yeah, our definitely. league, you can uh, shoot us an email at thecommandzone.com mm -hmm. and uh, we'll try to incorporate you yeah. into the league. Right now we have about five stores. Um, in total, there's about 45 to 50 people who uh, compete. Right, on, frequently. That's, that's mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. the games yeah. Yeah. each week. Yeah, frequently, um, and we have stores all across Southern San Diego who um, are interested. So definitely. Um, we definitely yeah. want to see the the, the league grow and become right. something a little bit more than what it is. Yeah. yeah. So if, if you're looking yeah. for stats and um, like a, a leaderboard and all that, we have everything on our site. We you know, yeah. it's all going to be there <laughs> every, each week. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we're going to try to update it every week. It's going to be updated every week. We're going to have right. new articles, um, new um, interesting ways that people put their cards together. So thecommandzone.com uh, for everything you need. Yeah. All right, guys. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye.